Hi, welcome to the 31st Hammer tutorial. We're going to be working not in Hammer today. We're going to be making a custom game menu. Some of you might have noticed during my tutorials that I have a custom game menu that I made. That lets me enter developer mode, is what I call it. It has different commands here as reconnect and I renamed everything. And when I join the server, it gives me other helpful commands that make it easier for me to map. Instead of me having binds, I just have keys over here that I press. Like enable screenshot mode removes everything on my screen so I can take a nice clean screenshot. Enter dev mode enters wireframe so I can see all the, everything in wireframe. So today we're going to show you how to do this. So the first thing you need to do is install GCFscape. If you do not have GCFscape there is a download link in the video info. Then you want to browse to your Steam directory and go into Steam Apps. Don't go into your account. You'll see a whole bunch of GCFs and NCF files. And what you want here is to pick the game that you're mapping for or making your custom menu for. Mine is Counter Strike. And browse into the shared GCF. It might be named something different for other ones, but there's usually only two or three, and you can guess which one it is. And if it's not the right one, try again. You want to browse in, go into the folder, and then resource. Then you'll see a game menu dot res. You can just drag that onto your desktop, and then go into your Steam directory, into your game folder, and create a folder called resource if you don't have one already, and then put it in there. And now you want to edit this file with Notepad or Notepad plus plus. And how? this works is it's the, the type of file up the top is game menu we don't need to worry about that and you'll see a number next to each thing this is just for organization's sake and then you'll have three commands by each thing there's label command and only in game label is what is displayed on the menu command is what's fired and only in game one is yes zero is no only in game means it only show up when you're in a server. So, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to make a custom menu. So you typically just want to leave these alone. You can rename them, but you want all these commands to stay here so you can use them because they're very helpful commands. I'm gonna add everything at the top here. So I'm just going to 0 0.1 for my comment, I guess, and then label. Command and only in game. I'm just gonna copy those so I can use them later. And you want to make sure that you have an open curly bracket and a closed curly bracket. If you don't, you will cause errors. So the first thing that I'm going to do is just show you guys how to fire a single command. So this one's going to be console. Pretty simple. Under command, you want to put engine. You put engine before everything, and you can have this fire console commands too. So, like SV cheat and stuff. So, this is going to be show console. Then, only in game, zero. So, can use this whenever. Then, I'm going to make another entry. And this one's going to be a little bit different. This one's going to turn on wireframe. So, it's going to be wireframe engine and we need to fire two commands here sv cheats and the wireframe command so you want sv underscore cheats one semicolon mat underscore wire frame and then whichever wireframe you want i like three then only in game because if you turn this on outside game kind of pointless doesn't do anything so make another entry and this one's going to be for your crosshair. It's going to toggle your crosshair size. <coughs> so, under label, I'm just going to put change crosshair size. So, in brackets, engine. And now you want to put toggle and then CL crosshair scale. 
And now this is where you input all your numbers. I'm going to go with 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, and 50,000. As you press it, it'll cycle through all of those. I'm going to have this be only in game, yes. And the last one we're going to do is going to be one that will display a message and fire a command. And we will also do a spacer. Those are fun. So under label, we're going to put who's plane. And for this command, we're going to put engine, space, show, console, semicolon, clear, semicolon, echo. What echo does is, is it displays a message. And this is going to be players who are playing on this server. I'm going to put a semicolon, then echo this will put it on a new line now and I'm just going to put a whole bunch of dashes for kind of like a spacer semicolon then status close quote only in game yes and now we're going to do a spacer which just puts in a blank slot kind of to divide things and this one's just going to be it's a cool little design whatever you want and the command for this is spacer pretty simple then only in game yes no I'm going to put no I want that to show up no matter what so you save your game menu and you load up counter strike And there's our spacer right there. You click it, it does nothing. You click console, it shows the console for us. If we create a server or join one, we will also see the extra commands that we have added. We now have who's playing, which clears the console. Players who are playing on this server with our divider. Then it shows I'm playing on the server. The wireframe. Now, if you get an unknown command or a crash in your game, this is most likely due to a spelling error. Happens a lot. Don't worry about it. Just go back, reopen it, and check your spelling. You can just add it in. Then you have to restart your game. Just, just no big deal. Just reload. Join the server again. Once you're in the server, try again. There you go. The wireframe works. So the most common thing is just check your spelling. You can change your crosshair si size, and as you can see that my crosshair size is changing a lot. Just got a little bigger. So yeah, I hope this tutorial has helped you create console commands. Uh, I mean create a custom game menu to help you map quicker. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And we also now have Twitter for this. And if you subscribe to that, you'll get updates on what's happening with the tutorials. Links and everything are in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Twitter. Thanks, guys. See you later.